My name is Brian Zerker. I'm the CEO of Venue Scene. We are a software as a service platform that allows businesses to see all the photographs that are taken inside of their locations. I'm here to talk today about visual marketing and how that can impact your business, what you can do about it, and how you can leverage your customers and their photos to enhance your brand and drive new business. Uh, this year has definitely been the year of uh, visual marketing. 2012 has brought us a bunch of new trends in terms of the way websites and the way that customers are interacting with brands. Um, recently in the news you probably heard about Facebook and the Instagram acquisition and while they were still growing in Instagram from 15 million to 40 million users in the last six weeks, um, what that's brought is just an influx of an incredible amount of photography to bear. Uh, a lot of that photography impacts business because it's taken up brands and products um, of locations. Um, it's really amazing how much you really don't realize they've already crossed the 1 billion photos mark uploaded through their system in less than 18 months. And uh, it's continuing to grow. There's other services then where those photos end up being. Uh, Facebook itself has changed it, its way it's doing business by making visual marketing in terms of photography the focus point for all profiles and business pages. Um, also Pinterest, which has exploded in the last 12 months, has brought to bear the idea that you know, browsing by images is more powerful than browsing through the web. And obviously Tumblr, which is not um, maybe talked about as much, is a great sort of visual blogging service that a lot of businesses are using to um, keep their customers apprised of what's happening. As this has changed, uh, we've moved from uh, what was a text-based uh, economy on the web and into a visual thing. So you can imagine the the comment where someone says something about the food they're eating, something about a review, something about your business, and that's, uh, that, that text may have been interesting at one point, but now what's really interesting is that what's become the focal point is what the image is. And what you're seeing here is, wow, I mean, Sira, Sriracha, Slaw Dog, Amy's Boston, B Dog, Tater Tots, I mean, that, that would really mean almost nothing to you before, but now has an incredible impact when you see the image of the food in front of it. Um, and that's happening everywhere. It's not just in restaurants, it could be in hotels, it could be in um, products, it could be you know, just on the street. People taking and talking about what they're doing, um, talking about their experience, and most importantly, it's being done on the phone. So there is uh, instantaneously, uh, they're taking this photo, posting it into social networks, and your business needs to be aware of what's going on there. And also intercept and engage with your customers. So with all this, and there's all these images, the real question is, you know, what do you do? Uh, we've come up with four sort of easy tips, much of them can be free, uh, that you can do to help manage this. Uh, first is get aware. Um, understand where your customers are at, what they're doing, and how they're using imagery to represent your business. Uh, participate. Many of these applications are free. You can go ahead and get involved and participate alongside your customers. Um, share. Customers are incredibly delighted when you acknowledge their passion for your business, whether it's with their product or while they're in your store. And lastly, you can incentivize this. You can incentivize with your promotions and you can do different things to encourage your customers to take photos of the things you want them to take photos of. So first in terms of get aware, um, there's obviously some pretty easy things you can do that are free for your business. First and foremost is go ahead and do a Google search on your business name or brand name or your location. And at the top of the Google search, you'll see the image tab. Go ahead and click on the images tab. You'll be amazing, uh, amazed to see how many photos actually are being logged by Google on the web. And then you can find the source of those photos um, and see really how is your brand being represented. Um, you might even go ahead and Google your own name and see all the photos maybe from Facebook and different platforms that you are in as well. Um, it's a great way to just quickly do this. You can do this once a week and really stay on top of how your brand is represented. Um, I also would emphasize looking for your logo. Um, many companies often try to have strict standards on logo and other companies are maybe using your logo. Um, that is a visual uh, marketing tool for your business and you should really enhance and, and enforce the way you want it to be seen. Also, if you're using Twitter already, it's really easy to set up a search. Go ahead and save a search for your brand, save a search for a tag or a location or a name that you're interested in, and you can just sort of uh, monitor those tweets as you feel and see if there's links to photos 
with TwitPic and other things um, easily coming through Twitter. Twitter has made it so that you can see the image um, inside of the tweet often, and you'll get a better feel for the amount of volume that's out there for your, uh, for your business. And both those things, searching Google and searching Twitter, those are free things for you can do. You can do those you know, once a week and really get an understanding of where you're at. Um, second, there's some paid services. Our company provides uh, venue scene, which allows you to see what customers are actually doing inside of your location. So you can start a free trial with us and uh, find your business, find your locations, and then monitor. We'll notify you via email when there's new photos taken inside of your venue, and you can come in, check those out in our dashboard. You can then share those through Pinterest, Facebook, or Twitter, um, and then really monitor your reputation. Um, also, you can do different things like checking out certain sites where you may be more obviously there, like a hotel may be more featured on TripAdvisor. Um, you may want to check out the photos that are being left there. Um, you're not always going to be able to curate those, but you may be able to at least be aware of what's out there, how the customers view you and your location and your brand. Um, there's also other things you might want to do. There's some more uh, expensive tools out there like Radiant 6 or other monitoring tools, brand monitoring tools that can really check and see what the images of your brand are online and notify you of different things that are happening. Once you're aware, you can participate. Um, there's no reason not to have an Instagram account, even if you're not posting all the time. You may take some photos inside of your business and share a new product, share new merchandising. You may take, uh, you know, go in store to where your product is at if you're uh, selling to retailers and go see how those are done. But your customers are going to be out there. They may choose to follow you, in fact, and see how you guys post. A great poster child here in Columbus is Jenny's Ice Cream, who does a, a lot of behind the scenes about how they think about the ice cream and the business operating. It really gives the people an investment in their community. And second is Pinterest. Um, if you want to get exposure for your business, you know, free to sign up, free to share. You can create boards and sort of tell the story of your business through the boards that you're creating on Pinterest. Share. Uh, this may come across in some of the other videos you'll see here about sharing on Twitter and Facebook and Pinterest and Tumblr. Um, but really what we want to focus on is sharing what your customers are doing. So instead of you creating content, um, it's much more interesting oftentimes when it's organically created inside of your business or around your business. So in this case, you know, go ahead and when you see that content out there, um, engage with the customer, retweet it, respond to them. Um, post it on your Facebook page and, and celebrate them on, on the, the timeline of your Facebook. Um, customers really are delighted to know that you pay attention, that you care about what they're doing and how they're interacting. And the last and probably um, the more intensive time-wise is to incentivize. Um, so many businesses are trying to participate in sites like Instagram um, and really understand how they can encourage the, the right type of photography to be taken. So uh, you may design a hashtag you want to use and say, hey, you know, we've got a new product coming out. Um, take a photo of your new shoes and hashtag it, you know, new shoes and, and post it. And then you can track and see those photos coming through and uh, really uh, get people excited about not only buying your product, but then sharing it with their friends in a visual way. Um, there's other sites like on wildfire and other things that do promotions in Facebook that can also help leverage this. Um, ultimately, it's about the way your brand is being seen by your customer. So it's up to you to keep it fresh, to keep it clean, to keep it noticeable. Um, many of the products out there are interesting to people uh, because of the way they're merchandised, let alone just that. We see an abundance of coffee um, being taken. So when someone creates a leaf in a latte, that can be one of the most photographed items from a store and it really takes the, the experience and the beauty around it. So keeping it fresh, keeping it interesting um, for your customers. And lastly, it's sharing connecting. And we already talked about this just a minute ago, but it, it's really critical to acknowledge because by acknowledging it, you incentivize the behavior. If they're getting a great feeling that you're connected with them, the more likely they're going to share even further um, with their customers. So just to review what we talked about, you know, doing a simple Google search for images, um, monitoring Twitter, that can keep you aware of how your business is being represented. Um, participate. You know, sign up for a Twitter, sign up for Facebook, sign up for Pinterest and for Instagram. That will really help you um, understand how your customer takes pictures, how they post pictures, and how you can then leverage for your brand to be involved. Um, share. You know, celebrate, retweet Facebook. Um, when you find them, go ahead and schedule them or do what you have to do. But 
um, that is gonna, that's great content for you to be able to share. So sometimes you may be struggling for what am I going to say to my customers today. Um, using their content is a great way to get out back in front of them. And lastly, incentivize. So this is a, a trend that we don't believe is going away um, with mobile phone adoption and, and better cameras and different platforms. This is here to stay. So being participating in this and incentivizing this behavior can only help your business. Uh, once again, I'm Brian Zirk with Venue Scene. You can uh, head to Venue Scene and sign up for a free account uh, or email us and we'll uh, help you get set up and give you some best practices.